Hey there, I'm Part Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So, this is the second video of generic workflow of document understanding in UiPath series. So, in this video, we'll understand the first step of generic workflow that is load taxonomy. Now, before that, let us understand what is taxonomy. So, taxonomy is basically creating document types sorted by groups and categories so basically this means we can create group of different documents we want for example we have a group name bill now in that bill there can be different categories like gas bill electricity bill and you can say water bill so these are three different categories under the group bill now each of these categories or you can see each of these type of documents can have their own document type or own fields which we want to extract so in electricity bill it can be the electricity board number or something or your meter number in gas bill it can be your gas number in water bill it can be your water pipeline number or something so there can be different data we want to extract so basically taxonomy is created using a taxonomy manager now no default groups or categories are created when you initially create or start your taxonomy manager now to use the taxonomy manager we need to install a package named uipath.intelligentocr.activity so this package needs to be installed now after you install that package you will see a taxonomy manager option beside user events in your uipath workflow so basically taxonomy is creating groups and categories for your documents you want to process and then define the document type now this was the theoretical explanation of what is taxonomy and how it can be created now let's dive into uipath studio and let's see how we can create our own taxonomy so this is our uipath studio where i have already installed the required package uipath.intelligentocr.activity now as i showed you the screenshot we have the taxonomy manager over here now let me click on taxonomy manager so the taxonomy manager is opening and in that we can define our own group and own categories with different document types so let's wait for the taxonomy manager to prompt So this is our taxonomy manager. Now, as you can see, I told you we can create groups with different categories. So now I have already created this many groups for my tutorials. So let's see how we can create a new group. Let me name it as invoice. So this can be a main group invoice, and in that I can add a category. So you need to click on this plus sign which you can see over here. So after invoice, let me name it as a company name. So this is the invoice which I'm going to use. So this is my company name. Now after clicking on plus, we have successfully created the group and the category. Now after that, we need to add a new document type. Let's name it as FMA invoice. Now as you can see, we have a group over here. You can change it if you have multiple groups already created. Then you have the category. The document type code is an optional value. So now, as you can see here, we have an option to create new fields. So fields are basically the data which we are going to extract from our invoice. So let me show you an invoice which we are going to use to understand this. So this is the invoice which we are going to use. Now from this, I need to extract the invoice number the invoice date and the total amount so let's extract only this name and also we'll extract the client name and the two so this is the client name to john smith and this is the supplier so let's create all that variables 
so let's name this as from only and this is a text now you can see we have different types so if your document has a text you can select text if number you can select number date name address keyword set boolean table there are many types now from and then the other one we have is to which is also a text let's save this now i have a new field we have invoice number let's name this as number after that we have invoice date and we have an option of table if you have a specified format you can obviously specify it but we'll leave this as blank and we have the total amount which is going to be a number so this is how we created our group invoice in that we have acme as our company name which is you can say our category and in that we added a new document type which is acme invoice now let me save this so a particular taxonomy is always identified by group id bracket group id bracket the category bracket the document type so as you can see here you can see the chain the first is group then it is a category and then it is a you can say document type you can create multiple document types now we have closed it now so as we know our step is basically load taxonomy so for that from activities we need to drag a particular activity load taxonomy which i have already done over here and we need to create a variable for that to store the taxonomy so i have already created a variable taxo output so taxo output is my variable where i will be storing the output from the taxonomy so where the all the fields which i am extracting is stored let's do a quick recap of what we did in this tutorial so in this tutorial we understood what is taxonomy what package is required to install the taxonomy and not only we understood the theoretical concept but we also created a taxonomy and saw how we can create a group a category a document type and different fields which we want to extract thank you for watching the complete video also please watch the next video which is the second step of document understanding that is digitizing the document thank you